What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Starting off today's video, we are in Prospector Bob. Uh, just enjoying the new interior. Got my cup in the cup holder. This thing is just nice. But in today's video, we have to figure out an issue. At this point, Prospector Bob is not really fun to drive. Um, and I think to demonstrate what I mean by this, I think the best thing to do, uh, we're going to start this video off and do a timed 0 to 60 second run in the truck. And you guys are going to see what I mean. This thing is slow. Um, it's, it's almost unbearable. It's almost, you can't even get it up in RPMs enough to really take advantage of getting to the next gear. So uh, we're going to do a 0 to 60 run, see how long it takes us, and then we're going to head back to the garage figure out what's wrong and fix it. So as we do the zero to 60 run, I want you guys comment below, what do you think is the problem here? It could be anything. It could be a boost leak. It could be injectors going bad. It could be poor timing. It could be poor adjustment on the P pump. Uh, there's just so many things that it could be. I think I know what it is. And I think about a year ago, I did a video and some of you commented on that video suggesting this. Uh, so if that gives you any hint, but let's go do our zero to 60 run real quick, see how long it takes us. And then at the end of the video, when we get this all fixed, we'll try it again and see if it improves. So let's go. All right, glasses on. We're gonna pull up to the stop sign. Now this little stretch, it goes from a stop sign and straight up a little hill. And I really wanted that hill to be part of this because it's gonna exaggerate how bad this is getting going, especially under load, going up a hill. Uh, so it's really gonna give us an idea of that. So here we are up to the stop sign. I'm gonna pull my phone out, get a timer going. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hit go and we are off. Whew, kinda low RPMs to get into third. 25 miles an hour right there at 20 seconds. Come on, let's get into some boost. We're under five pounds of boost right now. 35 miles an hour, fourth gear. We're at 35 seconds. Come on. 45 miles an hour. Fifth gear. I don't even know if we're gonna get up to 60 in this stretch, and this is probably a couple miles, maybe one or two miles. There we go, we're up to 53, and I've gotta slow down. So a minute 20 to get up to 53. We couldn't even get it up to 60 miles an hour. So let's head back to the garage. I'll show you what I think it is. Guess below in the comments before you keep watching because I want to know what you guys think it is just based off of that little run. I'll meet you guys back at the garage. All right, guys, we're back home. Got the truck pulled in, but I'm telling you guys, it is miserable to drive this thing how it is right now. So make sure you comment below, but let me show you what I think the issue is. So you guys know I just put new carpet in here, new padding. So here's our throttle pedal and look at all that play. So right there when it's all the way to the floor is when it actually pulls on the throttle cable. So we've got a ton of play in the pedal before we even pull on the throttle cable. And then we've got 
a ton of play in the actual cable. So if we pull the pedal back, you can see how much extra room we have in the cable. Real quick, let me show you in the OG crew cab what it should look like. So it's a little dirtier in here, but that's okay. But no play and we've got no play in the throttle cable right there. You push the pedal and it pulls the cable immediately. And that's what we want. So in inspecting this, I noticed that the pedal on this one is sitting out about an inch off of the firewall. So in order to fix this issue, we're gonna do two different things, okay? So let me show you the first. So I've got this plastic stock that I used for my body lift on the OG crew cab. You guys may remember that video. This is an inch thick, two inches wide. We're gonna cut a piece off and we're gonna create a spacer for the pedal because this one is all the way against the firewall. It's held on by two bolts, so I bought some longer bolts. So we're gonna create a one inch spacer and then after we get that on, we're gonna see what the uh, cable situation looks like and if we need to put a spacer in the cable, which if we do, I bought something that'll work for that and I'll show you that. So uh, let's make this spacer first, put it in and see how that affects this issue first. All right, so we have the throttle pedal out. Again, just two bolts and here's our little one inch spacer. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just set this on there, line it up, mark those holes, drill two new holes and then we can just mount this right back up with some longer screws. So I'm gonna do that real quick, drill, mark those and drill those, and then we'll go mount this back up, and then we'll check the cable and see if that takes enough slack out of it or if we need a spacer on the cable as well. All right, so we have our one inch spacer. Got the new bolts in. I used two inch bolts. They're a little long, but it's okay. I'd rather it be long than short. I bought inch and a half as well, but we're gonna go with two inch bolts. So let's go hook this back up and then we'll check the throttle cable. All right, guys, this is going as smooth as I would have hoped. So got that spacer in, got the spacer in and look how much further it sits out. And there's only about I don't know, a half inch of play anymore, so about that much, but we've got tons more pedal travel, okay? So, let's get you guys a different angle and show you the play that's left in it. That's how much play I have left. So about a half an inch. So, here's what I got. I got these little nylon spacers from the hardware store. So what I'm gonna do is cut this probably in half because they're an inch spacer, probably cut it to a half inch. So we got our little spacer made. You can see that notch I cut in it. So let's put it in there and uh, zip tie it on. Looks like we should be able to close that gap and uh, should stay on nicely. So this, uh, everything I'm doing here is based on a write-up on Cummins Forum by Jim Lane, one of my favorite all-time first-gen guys. I've referenced him in a lot of my videos, but this is what he recommended doing. Uh, the spacer with this little spacer in the throttle cable. And Mr. Bartender, please! I need a shot and I'm begging not my name. All right, guys, that was 
quick and easy. Now let's see if it actually works. Um, I think it does. There's no more play in the pedal. The pedal sits way up higher off the floor. I think this is gonna really wake this thing up. I don't think I've ever seen more than 10 pounds of boost out of this and it's got a Super B turbo in it. And I think that's why. I think we haven't been getting as much fuel because the throttle pedal hasn't had it, all the travel it should. So let's go take it out and do our zero to 60 second run again. Uh, we, we were at a minute 19 seconds and we didn't even get to 60 miles per hour. We had to slow down. So let's go try it. Wow. It's incredible, the difference. Okay, we're pulling up to our stop sign. One thing though, it did raise the idle a little bit, so I think I have just a little too much tension on the throttle cable. Uh, I might cut that spacer in half and just take a little bit of tension off of there. All right, here we are at our stop sign. Let me get the timer. Here we go. And we're already at our 53. There we go, 60. Woo! <clears throat> Way better. I mean, that's, anyone who has a first or second gen, you need to check your pedal for that play. Uh, maybe space the pedal out, put a spacer in the cable, but it's incredible. I'm, I'm actually nervous for the transmission in this thing at this point. It is still a little smoky compared to what I'd like it to be, but you know, at least it gets up and goes at this point. We can tune that smoke out pretty easily. All right, guys, we're back. That was a huge improvement. So I'm gonna play with the size of that spacer. I might cut it in half. When I was going full throttle, the pedal wouldn't even touch the floor. So I think I may be okay without the spacer altogether, but I'm just gonna cut it in half, see if we can get it idling right uh, i don't want to have to adjust the idle on the pump because i know it's that throttle cable that's pulling on the the throttle shaft and raising the idle so but that was a huge difference again it may not be a fast truck i'm not going for a fast truck with this truck i want something that can pull and can put power through each gear so yeah it hits 60 miles an hour after what 38 seconds that's not fast but it's way faster than what it was and it was way more powerful we do need to tune some of the smoke out of this, as you can see, uh, just very smoky. It's got that big turbo in it. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. But if you feel like your truck's underpowered, make sure you check that throttle pedal, see if it's spaced out a little bit, and the throttle cable, and that should do the trick. That was an amazing and easy fix. So I'm glad we did that. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like this video before you go, and we'll see you guys in the next video.